Thank you, Cedar Rapids. Bragging rights at stake this afternoon with the Demon Hawks leading the old Classico series against Iowa Raptors 2-1. to one. The Raptors not only need three points this afternoon, they have three games in hand over the Demon Hawks to their advantage. All at stake for the Hawks coming off a two-game loss on the road against the Lancers and looking to redeem themselves with one game remaining in hand at home versus the Lancers next weekend. Here at the Alliant Pow Energy Powerhouse Arena. Both teams, both teams need to win. So fans expect to witness an entertaining match the Sunday afternoon. All that and more at stake on a crucial afternoon we are mere minutes away from the old Classico. My name is Justin Forster, and alongside me is Kyle Backus. It's great to have Kyle back with me again this afternoon as my ally and support system throughout this match of 450 minute periods. Kyle, thoughts on the match today? I think it's going to be an absolute cracker today, Justin. I think both teams have to be revved up and know the implications of this game. And it's a pleasure to bring you today's match live on YouTube via Vita Media. We'll go through the quick lineups here for the Raptors. Starting in goal, we have Jesus Ortiz wearing jersey number 20, Angelo Quendo wearing jersey number 12, Jonah Dancer, number 8, Patrick Kelly. Number six, Ricardo Orozco. Number 13, Ayo Adebayo. Number 11, Jacob Johnson. We'll look at the Demon Hawks. The Demon Hawks starting lineup. In goal, Rainer House wearing 8-18. Bruno Henrique, number, number seven, Diego Pantuzo. Number three, Murillo Cerulli. 13, Cesar. We're in jersey number 20, Pedro Ivo Diaz. And they are coached by Junior Fernandez, the coaching staff of the Iowa Raptors. We have Kurt Lewis managing the team. Alongside him is Bobby Hewitt is injured today with a knee injury as the game gets overhand and Rayner going forward. First time I've seen him do that. Full play back as the Hawks, with everything at stake for both sides, looking to capitalize very, very quickly. You can see already, Kyle, it's uh, started off at a fiery pace, has, hasn't it? Absolutely. When you keep, see the keeper dribble all the way into the, the last third there, like you're going for it. The movement's been pretty good from the Demon Hawks. They're coming out hot. Bruno Enrique trying to latch onto the ball there, staying in as there's a line change for both sides. The Iowa Raptors are playing in the all pink, a rather outstanding uniform to, to say the most. Uh, I do like the colors. Yeah, absolutely. It really sticks out nicely. Bo both sets of kits are great, actually. And the Demon Hawks on their traditional golden maroon as the ref blows for a foul as you could see there that the Raptors were ready to break in a 2v1 on, on the goalkeeper. Rainer House playing the ball forward as the Hawks look to maintain possession. given away by Nascimento. Our near side here, the Raptors on the ball. That's the Good third looking. or fourth line change for the Raptors already. The line changes are coming in thick and fast, that's for sure. I did notice the last game that we covered with them, the Raptors were very well organized. Cross comes in, Reyna, foot save. And yeah, picked up again. Good hit by Jake Johnson there. 
Uh, Jake Johnson wearing jersey number 10, a familiar name. It's your neck of the woods, isn't it? Absolutely. He's an assistant at Coe College. He's a teacher at Washington and coach at Xavier. So he's Mr. Cedar Rapids Soccer. And back when uh, the Raptors were, you know, the rampage, Jake was uh, on that pro indoor team as well. As the Raptors look to pounce here, shock just going wide. They're still in possession here. Line changes coming in for the Raptors. Here it is on our near side. They're looking to build. All at stake today, Kyle, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Both teams have to win with games in hand against the Lancers coming up next weekend. Lancers are coming down for a double header against the Raptors and then the Demon Hawks. And then after that, the Raptors are traveling to Rochester for a double header. So all at stake today. So the ball's played forward. Enrique into feet. First action from Chewy. It's comfortable hey, save. Jesus Ortiz on the ball. We're going to build up, playing the ball out wide. Chance here for the Hawks. Near the way. On your side here. Diego Pantusa. Pantusa, a little step over, shoots. It's well blocked there at the back. Raptors got caught there okay. playing a man down. Bad line change, it looked like. And you can see the frustration there within the players, but it wasn't capitalized on in the end by the Demon Horses. The ball went over and out of the arena. Yeah, they, they really need to capitalize on moments when that high press works, especially when it, it's just a, a giveaway like that in the, in the build-out phase. We apologize for the technical issues at this point. We are currently working on it, so just be patient with us. We'll continue to give you the commentary as we move along here as the Raptors look to build it. Cut away. Intercepted. As the Hawks looking to just slow the game down. The ball played back. Hawks looking to build slowly. Jordan Webb closing down. The far side just showing it down the line. Good piece of pressure there on the far side by the Raina again. Raptors. Reina House playing with confidence into Bruno. Enrique, still on the balls, Enrique. Looks like there's a foul, Enrique goes down. And we spoke about this game being a bit feisty, you know, two games ago, and the double header, there, there was a little bit here, so both teams have to be very, very disciplined. Yeah, and, and it'll be interesting to see how that plays out over the course of the game, especially as it remains tight. As the Raptors looking to break, yeah? That's Sarive on the ball. Then back to Johnson. He's got Dancer to his left. Dancer's a player at uh, Mount Mercy who's extremely fast, so if they can get him going, he's going to have some joy in this game. Yeah, I remember Dancer from the first game I did. I was uh, actually very impressed with him. Hey, he's a fierce competitor. Foul, Foul not given. And then Pat Kelly is kind of an old guard, another one who played with the Rampage back in the day and yeah, brings a lot, a lot of veteran experience. A great foot save there. Another shot coming in here and it's saved there by Rayner House. Out of the two goalkeepers, Rayner House has been the busier one on the, on the night, afternoon. Yeah, certainly, but he's also attacked a couple times too, so... Yeah, he's, he's having fun, I guess. Uh, well played there by Pantuza, just alluding two players, but the reason is the ball's played forward. Looked like a foul. Pantuza still on the ball in the corner there with Jonah Dancer. The shirts have been pulled. Pantuza comes out on top as he tries to play the ball square. It's intercepted. It's one versus two with Kelly. And that's definitely a foul there yeah. by, I believe it's Pantuza on Kelly. And that actually... Could have been a card. Yeah, you would have to say it might have, probably should have been. He's the last defender there, and Kelly had the, the chance to go by and get a shot on goal. Johnson with a free kick into the wall. Adebayo's on the ball there, and they're just kind of trying to be a little patient. 
Yeah, they have a bit of skill at the back, yeah. Lovely ball played straight down the middle. Little overhead kick, it's just cut away there. Well defended on the far side there by the Hawks as the ball went out by Murillo, who actually, Murillo was... Defenders, guys who would be defenders in 11 v 11, playing the forward and, and center mid positions and attackers playing the back line. And so I'm curious what their strategy is with that. And, and it's very different. The arena soccer is so different to the outdoor soccer. Yeah, absolutely. As it's a Raptors ball here. I still don't understand how they allow passing lanes into feet and, and, and the <laughs> opponents don't block out the yeah. passing lanes. I still. Y yeah, it is an interesting. They must feel confident in just being posted up against, but you would think you would stop the lane. It's a good tackle there on the far side, but it's taken back by Henrique, lining himself up. It's blocked there by Kelly, picked up by. That's a great find. Great turn here by Kelly. A lot of skill, like you said, he's a veteran of the game, Kyle. Yeah, it definitely shows, and he'll be important as the game. I was talking to Bobby Hewitt just prior to the game. I said, where's jersey number seven today? And he told me he's, he's strained his LCL, you know. We talk about old age sometimes. Well, absolutely, and uh, I'm sure Bobby will appreciate these comments too. But when he's out there, he's a fierce competitor and a, a pretty intelligent and creative player. I bet Demon Hawks prefer him on the bench, though. Still, we're still building through some technical issues here. And that puts the Hawks 1-0 up in the first period here with coming up to eight minutes left. What a finish. Wow. Uh, you know, far, far post and really seized his opportunity there. And it looks like one of the Demon Hawks got clocked in the, that play. J.O. Fernandez comes on to have a look at the situation and analyze what's going on. Hopefully everything's okay there. Let's talk a little bit about the Raptors here. The Raptors were established in 2019. Cedar, Race, Cedar Rapids based company. They have a men's and women's semi-professional indoor outdoor teams as well, which you've been a part of. Yeah, the yeah. Youth established, the youth program established 2022 with Iowa Raptors Academy, which goes to show what's going on here with the development of soccer and, and what the Raptors are trying to do to develop football here in the Cedar Rapids community their goal as an organization is to provide a pathway to give players an opportunity here in Cedar Rapids to be recognized yeah and I, I think anytime you get you know a, a, a senior level team that dips their toe into the youth water it provides that pathway the blue card here but it provides that pathway so that kids can see like a clear way forward it's not just some college that may or may not happen. This is something in town and it's great atmosphere. It's going to be a direct kick. Jesus Ortiz has got a blue card. But in comes the reserve goal, Luis. Luis Perez, and Luis Perez is good with his feet, I believe. Yes. Uh, uh, so he likes to come out, you know, it, it's a difference between with the goalkeepers. 
Jesus Ortiz is an unbelievable shot stopper, but when you look at the new kid that's coming in in Perez, attributes per keeper. Yeah, absolutely, and, and probably a little more speed. So coming off his line, he could close down a little faster. And yeah, I think it's a it's a great strategy here from the Raptors coaching staff. Because really, I think if the Demon Hawks go up two here, it'd be it'd be well deserved as far as shots created and chances created. Yeah, and looking at the standings right now, see the Rochester Lancers beat the Muskegon Risers to go top of the table of the North, which puts them on 19 points. The Demon Hawks on 18. Yeah, so you'd rather win than rely on a team to drop points. And I think that, you know, the, the, the more pressure's on the Demon Hawks than on the Raptors at this moment. You know, you, you, they've led the North the whole season, and you would think that there would be no pressure on the Hawks. But now the pressure's on them. You know, the two yeah. loss on the road against the Lancers has really hurt them. Yeah. When it's always tough when you have games in hand or, or you have played more games than, like, the opponents. And, and here we go. It's going to be a penalty. Enrique on the ball up against Perez. Enrique on the ball. Perez, and he just slots it past him, opens the hips up. What a quality strike there by Enrique. Showed a bit of experience. Absolutely. Perez Very Enrique cool, calm, and collected. Kind of like a celebration he there. He, he's feeling it right now, and... Two goals in what? Two minutes. That's got to feel good if you're a Demon Hawk fan. Which puts, puts the Hawks 2-0 up. Still with 7.50 to go in the first period. It's, it's going to be a long afternoon anyway. We've seen teams come back from 2-0 down, even 3-0 down. Yeah, it, it, it's a game of rhythm and, and momentum becomes really important. So you can score goals in flurries here. and That's a great As take. The strike comes in on the fast side. Just hitting the top boards and rebounding out. Cross comes in. Doesn't quite get there. Yeah, Enrique. But now it's just taken away by the Raptors who have possession. And look, looking to build up on our near side. That's Maliki down there. and He's, he's an exceptionally calm player. Leo, Leo Maliki. Yep. Yep. As the ball's... They're trying to thread the ball through, putting a lot of pressure. Maleki just comes in to receive it. And it looks like it's... Handball there, something. Quick line change. And here we go again with the, the Hawks, looking for Enrique. It's just cut away there by the Raptors in their luminous pink uniforms for today's match. At a bio on our near, near side, it's blocked there by Enrique. Picked up again by the Hawks. Possession is now claimed again by the Raptors into Kelly, just holds onto the ball, plays so yeah. it out wide. That's out of bio on the ball, and he, he's got great passing vision, as evidenced by that pass to Jordan Webb there. Jordan Webb, the local Iowa lad, went to high school here. He's Mount Mercy, and he's now on the coaching staff of uh, the Iowa Raptors. He's in the corner with the ball at feet, looking to take the freak, looking to take the kick. And here they go again. Looking for their first goal of the afternoon, are the Raptors. They've been really patient here into Adebayo. Adebayo lays it off, the strike comes in wide, and there's Adebayo on the rebound. Oh! What a finish. That's great um, spacing by the Raptors there. Good hit initially by uh, Leo Maliki. 
And then what a finish by uh, Ayo Adebayo. And you spoke about Adebayo when he came on and the threat he would be. He also posts up pretty well. He just notches the first goal there for the Raptors. Yeah, th this is going to be a cracker. Nascimento into Reina Haas. Haas one step out, looking to play forward here. So calm, beat the, three guys with that pass. A Little bit of skill there by Kelly, but it's picked up by the Demon Hawks again. Kelly, far side. Come on, Cedar Rapids, do you want a call? Just look at the composure on the ball there. Oh, just a slight, slightly wide there for uh, Jacob Johnson. Oh, Chewy advanced and Reyna's inspired him. Ortiz That's a great hit. into the far side there into Adebayo. Adebayo laying it off to Maleki. Again, a little bit clumsy with the clearance, but the Demon Hawks got the ball out. It's picked up by Johnson. Johnson under pressure, breaking through the midfield. Doing really well. He's on goal here. Johnson. Oh, his touch eluded him. Nascimento goes down. Adebayo in, and the referee is blown. Both players are down injured. Did, it didn't really look malicious. No, I think case of the ball got away from Johnson. He reached for it with those super long legs. And, you know, he's another old guy. He looked like he slowed down a tad to me, and maybe fatigue played into that. But yeah, I think what we're seeing is that both teams are so focused on kind of man marking in that final third area that it's going to give some opportunities for guys to dribble forward through the first two zones and, and create some mismatches. Yeah, Johnson just broke away there. He wasn't picked up. As you can see there in the replay, both players clashed into each other. And the ref blows again. We have a line change, and I think we have a direct kick here for an over-the-top here with Pantuza. Kelly's on the ball. He's got Jonah Dancer to his left. As the strike comes in, different, and it's Whoa. a goal! I think that will... What a finish. What a finish that was. Absolutely brilliant strike. And I think there was a little bit of unorganization in the wall as now the game has been drawn to 2-2. Two, two. As we come up to 4.49 left in the match. Two goals is nothing, to be honest with you, and it's happened so quickly. Yeah, both teams have, have done it, like two goals in two minutes. So if it keeps going on at this rate, we're looking at a 16-16 a game. But uh, it's, always, it's always some fireworks here, that's for sure. It's picked up here by the Hawks. It's 2v1. Henrique running forward. Henrique didn't quite get a hold of the bet. I think the pass was off. It should have been played to his back foot going forward. That's, I, I like to say, front foot. So I'd say the pass was off as we have a free kick. Thoughts so far? Yeah, I think it's an absolutely wonderful game right now. The, the fact that you've seen... Two goals, one from each team on set pieces, one in open play. Kind of, it's really, it looks like it's going to boil down to individual moments because both teams are super organized. And so can you finish your opportunity once your team creates it for you? Webb with a strike on the far side, just doing some scissors to go wide. I, I always prefer like cutting in rather than going wide. It's got to be spectacular. Maleki coming across to cover, did really well. Webb clears, but again, it's the Hawks picking up. Looks like there's a foul on the far side there. It's getting more physical, man. It definitely is getting physical. As long as both teams can keep their heads and don't get heated this afternoon. Yeah, you're, you're going to get hit. Just get up, shake the guy's hand or not, but just leave it at that and everything should be good. As there's a timeout here, so far, 2-0 up, the Demon Hawks leading. 
and then they give up two goals. Uh, the last one from the free kick, the direct kick, was spectacular. Yeah. Did it look like the war was unorganized? Because you could see Rayner trying to blast out his instructions. Yeah, I, I think, yeah. The, they, he was beaten near post, and that's where the wall should have been. And th they looked a little bit guilty when they looked back at their keeper. What a hit, though. It's interesting because with the Demon Hawks up 2-0, I thought they had controlled most most of the game, and it, it's almost like they committed to defending, and the moment they did that, the Raptors scored twice. So Two I, on the bounce. Yeah, I, I think that whoever's, whoever's feeling it in the moment, stay, keep your foot on the gas pedal, stay on the attack as, as much as possible. With the Demon Hawks. Start the last uh, just under four minutes left of the first period as the ball's played forward. Ortiz uh, just keeping control of the situation. This is Rukaziki on the ball, plays it forward for Dancer. Rukaziki also shown some strength there at the back, and Maleki's come back into the game, and Kelly Johnson's back in. Yeah, Lasoya, Islas. And they've used Lasoya and Islas a lot to just kind of give some of their main guys breathers and then let those guys run. Maleki just timed that well, sitting in space. A little bit of pressure here, but the experience of Reina Haas managing to get the ball out. Maleki with a little back heel and great tackle there again. Look at the, this unbelievable match here today. Is on the far side there, you've got, you got Kelly in the game. And here we go again. With and he is Raptors. a goal scorer. Play the ball forward to goal scorer Adeboyo. Toe poke there from Nascimento. Picked up on the far side. Cleared away. Didn't quite get to Enrique. As the Raptors pick up again. Adeboyo making a run forward on the far side. But you think he's been picked up there by Nascimento. As Johnson's back into the game. And Jonah Dancer on the ball. Maleki with the run forward. Maleki into Adebayo. Adebayo is shielding. Little oh. back heel. How's that combination? Adebayo onto it. But you can see these guys have praying together quite often. Yeah, yeah. That, that was uh, born of chemistry right there because a very unique little combination combining away from goal to get a shot. Great defending. Look at the. They're doing a line change right now. That was a chance for the Hawks, wasn't it? It really was, and Reyna read it. He's, he's outstanding. He, he's got a real feel for the game. He's a veteran, isn't he, old Reyna? He's, he's, he's topping the charts with saves, and Pantuzula. Pantuzula on the ball. Playing it back here as the Hawks are looking to break. The Hawks on the far side, just off the boards. Ball played forward there by Ortiz. Jesus Ortiz in the first game, they played against the Hawks, was outstanding in goals. It went to OT and then a penalty shootout in the end. Oh, nice. As I believe there's a foul there deep inside the, the Raptors' half as Ortiz steps up. Oh, forgetting the ball there. Misplaced pass there. It looks like defensively the Hawks are really focusing on like a 2-1-2 zone and having some joy with that. And the whistle just went there. Must have been for an infringement. Yeah, I, I didn't see what happened there and I think the Hawks are a little perturbed because they had an advantage, they thought. Jordan Webb coming back into the game. But there's always a rotation within the system. Shot oh, comes in, hit. parried away. Sergi closing down on the ball here, just manages to shield it. Laid it off. Ortiz, forward. Good piece of defending there. It's all about defending. If you defend well in, in this game, yeah. you're not going to give 
you're, you're not going to concede goals. I mean, you can score as many as you want, but if you defend well, you're not going to concede. Yeah, absolutely. And it's that ability to defend and, and keep the guy who has the ball from turning. And, and the team that does that the best is going to win because it's such a post-up game. Pantuza with a touch, lovely touch. Ortiz was there just to smother the ball up. Pantuza's played very well. Yeah, he has. He got the first goal, and then the second goal was scored by Enrique Oliveria, just playing the ball square to Pantuza. This game, you've got to keep your heads mentally here. You can't let things boil over. As, jo as Johnson was fouled in, in the bottom corner there, out of our sight. Yeah, must be rolling around still. Jesus sliding Ooh. in, Ortiz just managed to get his foot to that and here we go again with the strike coming through for the Raptors just going wide on the far side we've got Jonah Dancer just shielding the ball he's got a lot of skill he's got two players on him pushing and shoving ball coming across here from Ser Sergio Johnson supporting at the back was calling for it now the breaks on it's 2v2 with the recovery coming on the far side and that is it the end of the first period here and two goals apiece we haven't had time to do anything put our mics down have a drink of water yeah from end to end it, it really has been and and it looks like it's going to keep on going at that pace and, and the amount of line changes the raptors have done kind of in, in contrast to i think more of the continuity that the demon hawks have been going for so it'll be interesting to see how those two strategies play out it's been very interesting, but I still go back to like the defending piece of the ball played down the middle where the passing lanes down the middle, and maybe it's different in arena soccer, you know, compared to outdoor. Outdoor, you want to keep as compact as possible based on your system. It's all based on your system, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, and I've been seeing the same thing, and it... I get it when it's man v man marking because they, they make the runs wide to clear out that space. But it, I feel like the Demon Hawks have actually done a better job of kind of cutting off that passing lane when they're in their zone defense. As but you can see, Kurt Lewis, he's got his guys together, barking out instructions. But the unique thing about this is, is getting your instructions out clear and concise. I mean, you can't overload your information. Yeah, yeah, especially when you figure you, you've got three different line changes you're progressing through. You can't have coaching points for each guy. It's got to be keep the intensity high, press this way, and defend like this, and we'll be better. As the Hawks are coming out onto the floor, getting ready to play, Boy, I'd want a longer break. You can tell that both teams want to win this game, obviously, with everything at stake. Yeah, I, I think that you're, you're seeing that, and fortunately for the viewer, everything being at stake has resulted in, in a game that is, is free-flowing, intense, and not not stagnant at all. They're, they're playing without fear. And that's what it's going to be about. Playing without fear, just also just going out there and, and enjoying it. You got the Demon Hawks that are owned by, by Darwin Salas. He's done magic stuff with the, this organization, bringing them from the M3 to the M2. Looking to progress. He's, Obviously looking to get this team into the playoffs, as does Bobby, who owns the Raptors. So everything's at stake here. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, if you're in those leadership positions, it might seem like you're just able to sit back during these moments and enjoy the game. But I'm sure their hearts are in their throats right now, and they're, they're living and dying with every run, every kick of the ball. As it looks like uh, Adebayo is going to kick off the second period. Oh, that's well orchestrated right there. If he could have cut it back better, Paco Gonzalez was right there. The pressure's coming on from the Hawks. 
as it opens up. They've got coverage down the middle. It's a good ball played in by Ortiz into Adebayor's feet. And it's cleared away at the back. It's a 1v1. Yeah, it should be easy for Reyna. And it is a free kick there with the challenge Kelly putting in on Reyna. You can see already how feisty this is getting it. But it's competitive and you have to go for it at the end of the day when you've got points on the line. Yeah, and I think Kelly absolutely has to do what he does. And I think Reyna baits him a little to draw the foul. And, and that's really smart goalkeeping there. Looks like there's a, an infringement there, so it's going to be a, a free kick to the Raptors as Maleki comes in. He's already looking for the ball, but it's with Ortiz. Plays it out wide to Johnson. Maleki. Maleki looking forward, finds Webb with a great oh, turn. A turn. And he has Adebayo with a shot. That, uh, Rukazaki. Rukazaki. There's so many line changes, it's, it's been a challenge to keep track of who's out there. That was one heck of a turn there by Jordan Webb. Here's Webb again, jersey number 16. A little optimistic there, Nascimento just blocked it. Didn't get enough power behind it. As the Hawks, what a oh, ball with yeah. the outside of the right foot. Great technique out to the wide area. That was but lovely. Must have bounced out there. That's a bummer. What a hit. Adebayo is back in the game up front. Kelly's in the game. Jonah Dancer's back in the game. It's picked up here by the Demon Hawks. As they look to break. Great strength and st stride past the... Opponents, but it's picked up there by Kelly, playing square. Yeah, that's dangerous. Adebayo did very well there. He had to use his strength just to shield the ball and keep possession. Adebayo on the ball, lays what it off. What a layoff. That's your mentor with a little push in the back. But again, the Raptors, strike goes way Ooh. into the stands. The technique on that, leaning away from the ball, you could see it was going way into the stands. Yeah, unfortunately he hit an empty seat because if you're not paying attention, that's going to leave a mark. Nascimento looking forward. And this will be the line change. Free kick here for the De Demon Hawks. It's intercepted here as the Hawks are looking to break. Nascimento just playing back to the goalkeepers. The change has come in and that's nice. a blue card. Too many guys on the field there, yeah. In the arena, yep. That means that those, those are critical errors. And now you have to play with a man down. Yeah, really unfortunate timing, like right in front of the ref, right in front of the bench. Caught himself, but caught himself a little too late. This will give uh, the Raptors an opportunity to, if they can take the lead, the Hawks have got to defend for their lives here. Getting organized during this power play. Johnson. Sitting in a 2-2 zone and just trying to keep everything in front of them. And that's what they've got to do. Just keep everything in front of them for the duration of the time. Oh, Lovely what a in there ball. By Rebound comes in and it's a goal! What a ball. What a fantastic goal there. That. Just in the right place at the right time and the right moment by Ricardo Orozco. That, I think it was the ball played in by Johnson was fantastic. It, it was fantastic. Broke all four defenders. Like that's a very insightful pass, and you know he he misdirected the defense. Right, he looked one way and then just found that split. So that puts the Raptors three two up, but we know that the Demon Hawks have it in them to oh. come back into this. Pantuza going and ball cleared. Straight into the PA announcer's box on the far side there by Ortiz. That's a heads up play from Ortiz, but Pantuza, he's, that little give and go there, that wall pass was really nice. He's, he's gonna be a threat all night. 
I've noticed the, uh, the officiating crew is from Kansas City, but they're wearing the same uniform as Ortiz and Goals. <laughs> as the little fake, yeah? Enrique, rebound. Could have gone anywhere. That was a chance. Enrique again. Already on one goal. Blocked. I mean, what are you suggesting there? That Ortiz is a ref? <laughs> that was well set up as the ball goes in. It comes off Reina. He just blocks it. There's the rebound. The, the, you go 2v1 in the middle. Player wide open. <laughs> yeah. And Reina palming it up against the plexiglass. Oh, oh yeah. No, but that, but Pantuza's that was... frustrated. Look at that. Hey, handshake. That's good. But Mkiz... Rukazaki? Ikazaki, he was open yeah. in the middle. Yeah, but he's a center back in real life, so maybe they don't trust his ability to finish. All he had to do was pass. <laughs> if it was laid into him, that was it. Yeah. Just a setup, and it was, that was the chance for a goal. Yeah. Missed opportunity because you're sitting on three unanswered. Getting four unanswered could have a huge psychological impact for the Demon Hawks. Rukaku oh, Ziki the is switch is... A new, new face to the team here, but he's on his seventh game already. So he's, he's new to me because he wasn't in the first game. Yeah, I think he took a brief hiatus. He's actually, a, a, I believe, a school teacher down in Iowa City. Um, and so, you know, every now and then you got you to gotta live beyond soccer and work. So... But he, he's an important player for them. His, his speed, physicality, and ability to find great passes are really important. Oliveros come into the game, and he is absolutely buzzing. He's all over. Just laid it off on the far side, yeah? He's looking for the ball again. Ooh. And there's an infringement here between Sergi and Enrique. Off the ball, which I didn't happen to see. Yeah. So the ref happened to notice that. The ball's played out wide. To Maleki. They're looking to break here. Yeah. Orozco, the goal scorer. Here comes Enrique with a chance here against Ortiz, and it's, oh. a, it's a goal! Wow. Great technique from that angle. That's impossible. I, I think Ortiz got to save that. I don't know how that goes in. What a strike. Wow. From one post to the other, Oro <laughs> Orozco was dispossessed and Enrique with his experience he's he's top of the north division with points at this at, at this point I mean he's showing his class here yeah he, he had that burst by and then to hit it with virtually no no angle and scores wildly impressive that's a really important goal there puts the score at 3-3 three, three here the Hawks Coming back into the game, they were 2-0 up, 2-2, two, two, went 3-2 two, to the Raptors as the Raptors look to cut inside it. The time and space, shot comes in. What a save there by Reyna. What a hit. Block with the left side, left foot. Maleki playing it out wide here to Kelly. Yep. Kelly on the ball again. There was the charge there for the give and go. Ball still in play here. And you've got Maleki up there. As the crowd are now coming to their feet, that's a free kick to... Free kick, yeah, I was gonna say, where's yeah. everyone going? <laughs> yes. Free kick to the <laughs> Hawks. Yeah, as it should be. Maleki was, that was a mismatch and he needed to foul there and he did. And he has a chance for the Hawks. Didn't quite get oh. it. It's let go there by Nascimento, looking for a free kick. Good pressure on the far side. Kelly playing the ball forward. I feel like Nascimento's still kind of struggling to get into the flow of this game. But once he does, he's going to be wildly impactful for the Demon Hawks. He's a veteran of the Serena Soccer League. He knows the game really well. He's a good defender. He's also, I'd say, a veteran. Although I think he's 30. <laughs> Is that a veteran in these times? Probably. <laughs> Which makes us something something beyond that, huh? You're a super veteran. Good tackle there by Johnson. Wasn't quite played into the right areas there for Enrique.
Johnson. 3-3 at this point. We did say it would be an exciting game. Ball played forward, looking for Webb. It's intercepted there at the back by the Hawks. Cleared away. And it's Webb on the ball as the Raptors are looking to pile on the momentum here. Pantuza didn't quite get it into Enrique. Oh, breaks on here. Sergio what looking a to ball. Track. And Enrique on the ball looking to get it through the legs of Ortiz. Ortiz with a one-on-one -on -one save wow. there with Enrique. Take some take in that and composure. Yeah, to save it outside of the box too. He couldn't use his hands. Got it through the legs and somehow kept it from going in. Demon Hawks were wanting a, a handball call there. Johnson into Sergi. Sergi, 4-2. Adebayo here. Adebayo, Adebayo looking to play through. Reyna with another great save. Reyna's kept his team in the game so far as we're coming up to nine minutes left in the second period. Adebayo goes out. Ball played forward, didn't quite connect it there on the far no. side. And Miss Q, Reyna looking to slow it down. He's looking for the one forward here into Enrique. Sergi with the header, just clearing, clearing the lines. Nice piece of technique there. Jonah dances into the game as well. Well intercepted there by the Hawks. Just marking space. Yeah. That's key, you're intercepting passes. Yeah, and I, I think that it, them marking space is forcing the Raptors to have to look for more third man runs and, and more creativity. This game is getting very physical. That's definitely a foul, that's for sure. A foul on uh, Cesar, wearing jersey number 13. He did well, actually, to shield the ball. He really did, yeah. Come on, Sir Adams, let's get up and make some noise. As the Hawks are looking to build. Let's go, Hawk! There's a chance. Enrique, Maleki picking up Enrique. He's got a couple of players on him. They can't quite, quite clear the lines. Come on, Hawk! Olivero playing the ball back out wide. Johnson in with the tackle, just out of our picture. We're still 1v1 down there in the corner. As the ball's played out, Olivero just laying the ball back to Reyna. Enrique out front there, waiting for it. He has a chance here, oh. just off the top of the bar. As the ball now is cleared out. Orozco, I've been impressed with Orozco for the Raptors. Not stopped the, the, I think the tying goal. To go yeah, to. yes. He's got good speed and he looks very comfortable driving forward into space and certainly plays with his team really well. The Hawks just losing possession there. Oliveira, but here comes the cover coming across the field. Rayner coming out. Olivero's in the middle, just covering the space in the, the zone area. It's Maleki on the ball. Playing the ball out wide. Well, well intercepted read. here by the Hawks. Looking to break forward there. Just given away by Lucas Malagas. And you've got the Raptors now just maintaining their composure. There's movement off the ball there. Held up well, three versus one. They've won the ball. Pantuza looks like a foul on Pantuza. Definitely, you could see that was a foul. Yeah, and if Pantuza doesn't get fouled there, I think he has a couple great passing options further down the field. And so if we start seeing more of these technical fouls, I think it's going to... Pantuza with a strike. Get real chippy, argy-bargy, as you would say. Argy-bargy, that's for <laughs> sure. That was Will Davis with a foul on Pantuza. As it looks like we're going to have a, time, a timeout with 6.33 left second period of this match here. The El Clasico, as we say, which the Hawks lead 2-1. So it's all spoils. It could be a, a, a tied series or obviously a one series by the Hawks. But it's interesting that they, uh, 
they have a crew up from Kansas City and uh, it goes back to a couple of games ago where it really did get rather aggressive and there was a lot of conflicts out here. I believe the police were called in. Yeah, yeah, and I think it, it makes sense. If you know that two teams are going to get heated like that, then just bring in the crew. You've already seen the intensity shown from this refereeing crew, and I think that's important because if they're not taking any, anything, you know, the players are going to get themselves in line in a hurry. Just for you folks out there, the Iowa Raptors have outdoor season tickets live. Their summer camp sign-up is live. And the U9, U10 Academy sign-up live on all their websites. So if you're in this area and you're looking to play for a great club, Iowa Raptors is it. Reyna on the board as we come out after that timeout. Nasir Manta. Reyna oh, under pressure. Reyna. Put himself Look under at the pressure. skill. Look at the skill there from Reyna. Reyna has with a strong. Oh, Bernardo Silva out there. I was just going to say, is that Bernardo Silva out yeah. there? I what tell you a what, turn. In between two players with a little drag back in a Cruyff. Man. They, they might want to put him in as a, a center mid eventually. Good Lord. Intercepted here by the Hawks. Again off the rebound, old Enrique there. And that, and that was Augusto with the interception, combining there with Enrique. Enrique never gave up on a couple of goal, goals already this afternoon. Yeah, Reyna's going to be thinking about his shot off the inside of the post that didn't go in after he dribbled two, two dudes in pink. What a player. Adaboyo in the challenge. Good challenge there at the back from the Hawks. Again, going in nice and strong there is Onard. But again, it comes away with Adabayo. Quinton Onard. Onardo. Did well in the air with Adabayo. Johnson. Johnson and Maliki, I think they're just tasked right now with slowing the game down, letting those, those runners and forwards in front of them do some work. Reyna again. Web, web on Reyna. Reyna looking to find a way out using his skill. Using his experience. He's quality. Goodness. Shielding a forward and then getting the move on him. I don't know if you saw in that last time out, Reyna was the one. He was gesticulating and pretty much coaching his team. And A little flick on there wow. by Enrique and Tornado. Not, what a save there by Ortiz. But a great combination there out of the back. Started there by Reyna. And that's a blue card there. Yeah, that, that's, that's a rough foul, especially that close to the boards. That was quite a challenge. Oh, they're hugging and making up, though. That's good to see. Quentin Arnado has received a blue card, and we'll go off. There'll be a power play here to the Raptors. Ian, Ian Kern. Kernsey was the player, I believe, that got taken out. We've got a power play coming. All right. Power, power play for the Raptors, and this is how they scored the last time. Who wants to go? Alan Lasola was the player. Lasola was the player injured. Johnson. Ball out wide on the near side. Play, played across. What a save there by Kelly. Kelly saved by Rayner. Pat Kelly wants that one back. Dancer. Adebayo. There the runs on the far side. The Hawks are in the zones. Just defending really, really well here at the point. At this point, misplayed pass there by Kelly. Picked up by Johnson. Johnson, he's got Dancer to his left-hand side. Adebayo on the ball, under pressure. They can't break that zone down. Orozco looking to come receive at feet. Moving into the middle, looking for the rebound. 
And the Hawks looking to clear. Pantuza on the ball. Just possessed there by Dancer. Picked up by Johnson. He does have Ortiz, but opts to turn as the Hawks drop off back into their zone. Adebayo. He's got Kelly on the far side. Dancer. Orozco. Johnson dictating the pace. They got to speed it up. This is easy for the Hawks. Shot comes in. Well blocked there by the Demon Hawks. Yeah, a really good they, period of defending for the Hawks. They're just keeping the ball in front of them, which definitely helps. Ball played in by Adabayo. Laid off to Dancer. Shot coming in. Pantuza turning his back. Possibly could have just faced up Johnson into Adabayo. Looking to shift it to the far side there to Kelly. Orozco. Orozco is in the middle waiting for a dancer. Into Johnson. They don't have any passing options. Adabayo shot blocked by the Hawks. Pantuza. What <laughs> skill there. And that's just the quality. Yeah. He, he's a lot of fun to watch. Two juggles while opening up the body to, to advance forward. Well done to him. As the power play is winding down, a couple of line changes. That looked like a handball. That's a handball. Yeah, for sure. There's going to be some changes. Pantuza is waving his finger saying, no way. As there's a line change here. It's going to be a direct kick here for the Raptors. Kelly is on the ball. Remember, they did score from a direct kick earlier on in the first period. Yep. Now it's a two-man advantage. There's another player that's been sent off. This is the chance to take him. Do you go for it or just lay it off? You've got Webb to the right. I think he wants to lay off. He's got something in mind or he's just smashing and praying. He's played out wide. Dancer on the ball. Raptors. Oh, oh that was a chance there. Stick out Maybe your leg. Positioning of Webb's body shape just wasn't right. The legendary yeah. Jordan <laughs> Webb. <laughs> Kelly. So now still still a man advantage. Shot comes in. Rayner diving, but blocked by his defenders in front of him who are doing extremely well at this point. They really are. This is Yeah, this is quality defending. They're so compact. The only way you're able to even get a chance is by going over them, but by the time it gets there, oh what is the ref called? A handball? You, you got Cesar in there, you got Olivero in there. You've got the whole lot in there. Reyna's going nuts because his wall isn't listening to him. They're trying to get everything covered. He has the zone covered. Reyna's come right out. Shot by Kelly. Laid off to Dancer. Dancer with the shot into Webb. Webb trying to get it across. And here you go. Ooh, I Ooh, thought he was going to go for it. I thought Reina. so too. Throws it to the rafters. Well, he's wasting time, and I think that's why and he's done maybe, that. Yeah. Yeah, if, if they were fives, you know, whatever. Wow. And that looks like a foul by Webb. And that's a foul by Webb there on Ruiz, on Cesar Ruiz. You have some Hawks fans wanting a blue card. Nullify this power play by the Raptors. Yeah. Ball played forward on the... the Deep inside the half of the Raptors. I can see Webb putting pressure there. On the Hawks. As the Hawks looking to keep the ball, but now they lose possession. And it's a blue card. Well, this game is really, really good. Been thrown out of hand here. Wow. We have a lot going on right now, don't we, here? We need a new round! As it looks like it's Kelly that's injured. He's on his feet now. As the officials and Jonah Dancer are checking with him. Now the Hawks are down to four players, three field players, and still no goal. Yeah, th this is going to be fascinating to see how it plays out. I mean... 
you're bound to give up shots. And I think if you're the Raptors, you have to shoot and create a little chaos, play it off the boards, get rebounds, and finish. It's 5v3. Take that advantage. Malaki Orozco back into Malaki. There Ball it is. played in. There's a little Whoa, back hill. Well saved there by Reyna. I don't think there's much of an infringement, but what a great, re great reflex save there by Reyna House. Yeah, absolutely, because it's a, not a traditional shot. It's kind of that Croy flick in the air, and he's all over it. And this is smart by him, too. I'm sure he's a little hurt, but stay down. Let your team catch their breath, because 5v3 is not easy. With a minute 47 left of the second period till half time, and a, and a half time that's desperately needed by both teams. And us, man. <laughs> and us, yeah, and us at the end of the day as well. A another blue card. Uh, Let's see who this blue card was pointed at. But you can see the Hawks have got ch some experience in the arena right now. I tell you what, if we're not careful, we're going to end up with no players on, on, the, on the field. And you know what? If that happens, I favor Reyna over Ortiz, goalie versus goalie. We've got Augusto, jersey number 26, on the field. We have Reyna in goal, and that is it. And then, so it's four <laughs> Three guys two, in the penalty area. Three. And this is the discipline we talk about. Oh, there, there's the extra player that's come out. Just out of a scene. Ball played forward here, looking for Augusto. And here they go. The, the Raptors still haven't got a goal in the power play. Four versus three on the field. They need to move it. Yeah, there goes bigger Johnson. passes side to side and Johnson shoot. With a strike and there's a little flick by Dancer. Didn't quite get a hold of it. Kelly on the ball and they have to move the ball quickly. And it's yeah, not moving quickly, quickly enough. Orozco with a shot outside of the foot. Didn't quite connect. Connect the strike. Johnson with a shot. Rayner again is having an outstanding game. Just managing to keep the Raptors at bay. Here comes. Oh, the now we're player. even Patuzzo numbers. Back in the game. Yeah, good to see him back. What? Great defending by the Hawks. One minute remaining in the half. One minute remaining. One minute till half time. And equal amount of players. Uh, we haven't had that for a while. Now, let's go. On the arena right now. Johnson didn't quite get a hold of the ball. Oh, nice what little a ball pass. with the outside of the foot. Orozco into Jonah Dancer, but Dancer was. Orozco's ball was played in too wide. Again, the shifting of the passing just isn't quick enough. Kelly in the far side. Here's the rebound. What a save there by Reyna. He has been outstanding. Cat-like reflexes in goal. Yeah, he, he's, he's been terrific to watch, both as a keeper and a field player. And it, it's, There's a reason he's wearing the captain's armband. 14 seconds to the half. And I'm sure the Hawks uh, can't wait for that to happen. Yeah. Adebayor's back on. Kelly's back on. Adebayor, but didn't quite connect onto that. There was a great ball in by Jonah Dancer. Ooh. It looked like a foul. Ref said no. Ball played and rebounds going in. Webb was sticking his left peg in there. Not quite. And there we have it. End of the second period. That, that's huge, I think, for the Hawks. They weathered one heck of a storm, and they've got to feel really good about their chances going forward. If you can defend like that the whole game, you're going to be just fine. Well, what a, what a first half we've had. Unbelievable. The score is 3-3 here at the Alliant Powerhouse Arena here in Cedar Rapids. With the Hawks going 2-0 up, the Raptors coming back into the game, leading 3-2, and then the Hawks tying it up at 3-3. But that was a power play opportunity that should have been taken advantage of yeah absolutely if if you're coaching staff players on the raptors you're pretty frustrated because you had at least 20 30 seconds there with the 5-3 power play and you you've got to you've got to generate way more shooting and scoring opportunities well at this point we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back in mere moments
well after a cracking first half we back at the alliant powerhouse energy arena here in cedar rapids the demon hawks versus the iowa raptors tied 3-3 at this point as the players come out to begin the third period let's talk about reyna for a second he's put in an absolute unbelievable effort through the power plays which the raptors didn't capitalize on yeah i, I mean to me, he's the player of the game right now for certainly the Demon Hawks, but both teams. He's been so instrumental defensively, leadership-wise, and then even on the attack, he's been phenomenal. And Yeah, his, his ability on the power play was exceptional. You know, that's the first time I have ever seen Rayner House come out right from the start, dribbling through players, showing a bit of skill. I mean, he does have a bit of skill for a goalkeeper. He really does, and yeah... They, I still, I'm replaying his moment at the halfway line where he dribbled the two guys and got a shot off and very nearly scored. And they might need some magic from him. Certainly they need a shot stopping. Kyle Keyes for the Raptors moving into the second half. Yeah, I think it's, it's kind of what you said, right? Like if you're going to do Maliki and Johnson, they have to move the ball a lot faster side to side. Otherwise, the the demon hawks aren't threatened they're so well organized defensively you have to move it faster to disrupt their positioning and then demon hawks moving into the second half uh, to me it's all it's it's pantanzi right get him on the ball see if he can create a little space for himself in the middle and then if he gives you the ball give it back to him and, and let let him do what he does best pantuza on one goal and Enrique on two for the Demon Hawks, where it's shared across the, the Raptors with Aquendo one goal, Orozco one goal, and then Adebayo with one goal. So they're sharing the spoils. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I think both teams, I think we've seen a little more from the Raptors, but play that deeper ball against the boards and see what you can cause, right? If it's a rebound, certainly your, your forward has a chance to just rip one on goal and use that to your advantage. Well, the, well there's a carryover here with the four and three with the blue card. So the Demon Hawks are starting. Oh, didn't see the extra player in there yet. So and here we go with the Demon Hawks on the ball, looking wide here, ball played it, easily saved there. Well, shouldn't say easy to say by Ortiz or Franca. That's Matusa a great. at the back. Enrico looking to come short. It's out wide. And now the, are they, oh, they're evens at fives, huh? There's a, Enrique, en, Enrique on the ball, manages to keep the ball. Franco is out wide, screaming for it. As the Hawks looking to break forward with Murillo. Ball played forward. Out wide and Henrique on the ball. Franco's made a run into the zone in the penalty area. Still keeping possession. Olivero into Murillo. Pantuza, my apologies. Ball played forward. Dispossessed was a difficult one to deal with, but Olivero came in and cleaned it up. Fancy <laughs> little back heel there. Well played. <laughs> Enrique, you, you always got to get some sparks here with. Uh, some of the Brazilian players in the squad as well. Absolutely, and that, that was a very, very good back heel and completely flummoxed the Raptors' defense. Ortiz playing the ball forward, looking for Webb. In, sneaking off the bench, there was Nascimento on the far side. Yeah, really good timing there defensively. Pantuza, there's a huge passing lane forward into Enrique's feet as I read that. Pressure there by Malaki. Adebayo just lays the ball off. Kind of a miss kick there. Webb did well. Took a All right, smash into his hips. Kelly. Oh, that's nice. Nice bit of skill there by Orozco. Kelly. That's three times in a row. Kelly's struggling in that deeper position. Where would you play him? I'd put him. I'd that put him. Like a handball. I think it was. That was as missed by the refs. Missed I'd, by the refs. Enrique on the ball. Little cut back, going in, but off, just off the line there by Kelly. Oh, 
he jumped into the boards and face planted and oh that's your mentor he's holding his knee landed right on that and his his chest He's in pain. I'm a little concerned about what Nascimento is trying to do there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looked like he was playing a different sport, maybe steeplechase. Because the ball was going out. Maybe he was trying to just launch himself over to keep the Yeah, ball like a basketball-style play, something like that. But, yeah, not something you should be doing on, on this surface. And I hope he's okay, but... Uh, and the fact that it's happened right in front of the Raptors bench, you know, he's probably getting a bit of stick for that. Yeah, they look moderately concerned, but yeah. Because if he does not kill himself, he's probably kicking one of them if, if he doesn't get the ball. So Let's talk about that handball. I'm sure Ortiz did hand, hand the ball. It looked like he did. Yeah, he was, he was two yards out, and he definitely <laughs> he snuck one off. Oh, look at Reyna here. Rainer's he is today. carrying his team, literally. He's going to walk out of here, and Rainer's shoulders are going to be so sore. He's been holding his yeah, team on top of that. he really has. Yikes. I love the character and personality in Rainer. The, yeah, he's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Tough not to root for a player like that. That's a leader right there. As the peer right, right, announcer... Right. Has just said, give it up to the goalkeeper, Haas. He's also the stretcher, Paul Bearer, <laughs> taking players off the, <laughs> off the arena. Yeah. Hopefully, Nascimento's okay. I have no doubt he'll come bouncing back into the game. I, I really hope so. He's, yeah, they, they need him to. Oliveira lays it back to Reyna. Reyna Haas looking forward. Little flick on looking for Enrique, but picked up by Johnson, just lays it off. Good layoff there for Ortiz. Not, not a quality ball out there by Ortiz playing the ball forward. But here we have the ball with Sergi on our near side. Sergi on the ball, cuts inside onto his right foot, left through the legs. Oh, I thought there was a chance there. Yeah, again, just a little bit too slow. The ideas are all there, but the Demon Hawks recover so quickly defensively. Angelo just went off. It's played by Johnson, lays it off into Jonah Dancer. Johnson now leaving the arena with Kelly coming in. Sergi. Angelo still in, my apologies, on our near side, hiding. Adebayo under pressure from Ruiz. Ball played across, there was a chance. On the far side, technically wasn't quite caught. Angelo under pressure here. As the Hawks looking to break with Augusto, Olivero playing the ball square. Oh. Well won there by Adebayo, a pillar of strength, just laying the ball off here for Kelly. He's got no Angelo to his right hand side. I think that was the option. I think Kelly went the wrong way. Yeah, I, his intensity going forward is, is really good, but he's not finding his team like he needs to right now. If he gets going though, I think that the spaces he's finding himself in, he'll, he'll cause some damage. Oliveira did well there under pressure with two. That's an easy one for Jesus Ortiz to pick up. Good composure from Webb. Webb, yeah. Oh, and the movement, Webb was on there in the middle. As the Raptors looking to go forward through Orozco, off the boards, rebound, Reyna takes it with a little bit of a nudge in the back there from, uh, <laughs> from Jordan Webb. Jordan Webb trying to set his mark on the game. Absolutely. And, and Reyna is just wily there. And even as he went for the foul, he made sure that as he landed, the ball stayed in his box. Reyna, long ball forward. Sergi with hand, hands in the back, just flicking the ball out. Is this, is it a foul? Oh, he's given the foul, I believe. So be a direct kick here. Kick, my apologies there. The officiating crew are from Kansas City for this matchup. So it's a neutral officiating crew. Pantuza leaves it. As the Hawks stepping up here, Augusto looks to shoot straight into the wall, rebound. Augusto laying the ball wide. Pantuza. 
Nice bit of skill there on the far side. Ivo Diaz is in number 20. I'm getting Diaz and Augusto mixed up. Okay. Ortiz clears the ball. Ooh, look Reina. at Reina. Stepping out under pressure. He takes the hit. He's not going to complain. He just gets on with it. And I think that's been the problem. Is they've got to keep their discipline. Far side here. Yeah. Augusto. Enrique. Enrique shielding the ball. Good piece of pressure there from the Raptors on Islas, the far side. Yeah. Getting over there. Laid off. Now the Demon Hawks are enjoying a bit of pressure here with the ball there. Franco laying the ball forward. Nice turn here by Pantuza. Shoots and it's a goal! Pantuza on the turn, receiving the ball with a little fleck. 4-3 to the Hawks. He did such a good job waiting for that central space to open. And the way the Raptors are defending, it's kind of like a loose man zonal, and they're not switching men. And so that space is going to continue to be open for him. It was a great strike, though. You can see the oh. dip over Ortiz. Just lovely, yeah. This is a three to the Hawks. Yeah, first time they've led since the first period, right? Malecki looking for the long ball. That's an, one of the easiest saves that Reina has had to make th this afternoon. Played forward. Nice bit of pressure there by Malecki. Claims of a foul, but no foul given. Malecki could have given that away, but Angelo did well. Nice little layoff there by Kelly. One touch, and this is how they've got to move the ball. They've got to move it quickly. Adebayo. Yeah, he, he's Angelo. been threatening up there. Angelo with a strike. Far side, it's Enrique on the ball. Kelly. Kelly just got his body. And you know, actually, that when you think of a foul or stopping a play, he just got his body across. But the experience of Enrique yeah. into him forcing the foul. Yeah. And, yeah, it's a weird one because... Enrique had nowhere to go. He, he would have had to have jumped into the boards. And, and after seeing what happened to Nascimento, he doesn't want to do that. Pantuzo. Ball intercepted. I think this is where, it, this is where they possibly need <laughs> to slow the game down. And look at that man again in goals. Put a gold jersey on him and send him up front. Yeah, I mean. Notch a few goals there, that's for sure. It's so effective every time they play back to him because he gets pressed, he steps into the pressure, and then breaks two or three lines. Ball play for def definitely a foul. <laughs> Ball play for misplaced pass there by Webb. I don't think. It was read well by the target player, Jonah Dancer. Should have hit that first time. Turns on the swivel, off the line. Rayner again with another save. Brilliant block there by Rayner. Ball on the far side here. Ooh. Again, it's. I like the skill, but this is where maybe you slow it down at times. It, yeah, and I think this has been an issue for the Demon Hawks. They, they look so in control of it. But the moment they get the lead, then they, they kind of they lose some of that focus and edge, and, and they need to stay rigid and, and disciplined. Ball out, Angelo. He has a Rusko on the, on the overlap. Inside to Angelo. Didn't quite connect it with his left foot going across his body. A very difficult one to strike as the Hawks looking to break forward with Ruiz. Ruiz on the ball again. And, and two's are in front of him. Malecki picks up, he just turns now, he looks at Ortiz. Nice bit of footwork there by Malecki. Look at that well-weighted ball into the chest of Adebayo. Adebayo. Man on. A familiar name, Adebayo. He used to play for Arsenal, Spurs, and Man City <laughs> back in the day. He's had a busy life, this guy. <laughs> Replicating. <laughs> well, and the Adebayo out there on the field, he actually he played in the NPSL in Minnesota for a number of years before he moved to Iowa and joined up with the Raptors. He was a member of Med City's team. A familiar name with you. Looks like a free kick out there. 
Kakiza is also in the game. He was for a minute, looks like he's gone out. Kelly on the ball. Tease gives him an angle out wide. Kelly looking to build out the back. They do have a target up front. Dangerous, playing with composure, looking forward. Here comes the ball in. Good bit of pressure there from the Hawks. Yeah, that, that's a nice ball into Will Davis, and he did a good job of drawing the foul there. He came off the blind side. He did, just did enough to get in front of the attacking That's player. Yeah. Johnson. He loves those soul rolls and, and, and tries to use them to bait the players into giving him different passing angles. It's all, it's all part of the game as well. Look at him going forward here. He has Johnson on the ball. He has Adebayo. Oh, Johnson left foot strike. Saved there by Ray and I didn't get enough on it. He really didn't. You, could, you knew he wanted to shoot, but he needed to... Get a little better connection there. At least he put it on frame. He's had some big minutes, though, and I, I feel like they've used him a little more sparingly in this third period, probably thinking about what they need in the fourth, you know, just to keep him a little bit fresh. Over six minutes and 12 seconds left of the third period with a period left. The score is 4-3 to the Demon Hawks. All points up for grabs. I don't think they really care about the bragging rights right now because the three points are the most important at this point. Yeah, and, and as you said in the beginning, they're probably more important for the Demon Hawks. And, and it'll be interesting to see how that, that resonates and translates in, in the, throughout the rest of the game. Because the Demon Hawks, Nascimento, he looks like he's done. So losing a, a key player that that puts the the pressure on some of these other guys to really step up as a reminder the iowa raptors season tickets for the outdoor league have gone live so if you're looking to get your tickets to go watch the raptors now's the time to do it the summer camp sign up is live as well and the u9 and u10 academy sign up is also live on their website if you're looking to play youth soccer, here's your chance to go and get coached by Jordan Webb. Yeah, you know what? I might even have to try out because I feel young at heart. So maybe I join the youth team. Behind you. I think I think you could do it, to be honest with you. Behind you. <laughs> As the Raptors looking to get themselves oh, back into this game. It's a fair crowd Behind here. You. At a bio. Dance is posted up in the zone. That looks like a foul. It just seems every time the ball goes against the boards, there's a foul. Yeah, and what a difficult area to play with, especially against Adebayo is bigger than all of the Demon Hawks, and he plays with his back to goal so well. Angelo. Reino House was being blocked there by Adebayo. That's definitely a foul there by Adebayo. You got put your hands on a player's shoulders and he goes down. You're playing with experience here as Oliveira went down. Yeah. yeah. It seems like the moment everyone starts getting fatigued, we're seeing a lot more fouls from both teams. It's been very stop-start. Yeah, the ball was played directly from so the one side. It looks like a card's coming out here. We'll take note of where that came from. Looks like there was a yellow card to one of the Raptors players as Kelly lines up. He's not worried about that right now. Malecki's coming on. Angelo Ooh. strikes well over the bar. He got the power. He just couldn't get it down in time. It's got to be so hard, though. The wall's about five yards from you. Tough to go over it. Rayner plays ball out. As the Hawks are looking to build here with Franco. Franco playing the ball in central. Murillo. Murillo has an option back. Looks forward on the turn looking for Enrique. But it's cut out there by Kelly. You rate Kelly, don't you? Do you think this has been an off game for Kelly today? Because some of his decision making in that. Yeah, I, I think so. Um, Pantuza 
Kelly's just slowing him down. Pentuza, what a save there by Ortiz. Picked up by Enrique. Webb has now picked it up. Kelly's gone for the run on the overlap. Kelly on the ball, he's got pressure coming. He didn't quite connect there. Enrique has an option for it, even to his left. And here comes the strike on the far side. Bent round, hit the boards. And it's picked up here again by Onado. Shot was blocked. Kelly played the ball forward. Arusco. The goal scorer, Arusco, on the ball. 4 3 Behind here to you. the Demon Hawks. Good piece of pressure. Arusco still on the ball. He's giving away a free kick. Ricky Orozco. He's got something about him, does Ricky. He really he does. Rukakazize Ruka is on. Rukaziki, yeah. Rukaziki? Yep. He showed some And every time he well. goes on, yeah, they're, they're trying to use him to really pin it to one side. Rukaziki putting yeah. pressure. That's a tough one. It, two players who are both very strong, and Rukaziki sticking his arm out. So, Malaga is going to ground. Pentuza on the ball. Pentuza going for goal. Strikes it. Whew. Deflected off Ortiz. Went through. That's all that, the pink jerseys. That's a good save there. Pentuza looking for it. Here comes the next one. Shot struck. And the referee has decided that that won't count and restart. Franco with the strike. Yeah, it looked like he encroached on the kick taker, so they'll just redo it. The Hawks laid off. Franco with a strike over the bar. Did get enough on it, just looking yeah. for more placement. Yeah, his practice round was a little bit better, I think. It's interesting, like the way this game is going, you, I'm not seeing the urgency from the Raptors and, and they are losing, but it's very easy to forget that they are with the way they're playing right now. Jonah Dancer, it's gonna take players like Dancer, even number 13, Angelo, to, to change things around you. Maleki at the back, he could show something going forward. Here comes Dancer cutting, great tackle there. Maleki. Angelo. Behind you. That big frame of Angelo. I don't think that was the right decision. Ooh. The keeper's placed in the right area as Ortiz. Out wide. Angelo. Dancers coming short to create space. The central zone was covered. Yeah, they, they're marking it, which then, if you're going to break that, you're going to have to play wide and through. Kelly intercepted. Kelly gets it back. Davis was taking a bit of a battering in the corner. It's picked up here now. Oliveira under pressure. Oh, that numbers. Cartier, Lewis, and there's the layoff, and that should have been dealt with better there by Kelly. That's for sure. That was a open chance, to be honest with you. Yeah, it, it really was, and great work from him getting into that position. But you got to finish those chances because that's a three v one situation. It looks like the Raptors are putting together a few more like aggressive looking lineups with more attacking players. But yeah. the Hawks are handling everything really well so far. Angelo just laying it down for Dance. Angelo. He's got Maleki to his right, but he's been covered by Oliveira. Here's Angelo on the ball. Trying to flick it through, but the second defender, Pantuzo again. He's been all round tonight, attacking, defending, scoring goals. He's got two on the night, and so does Enrique. Let's go, man! A little bit of handling there by Johnson. Just frustrating Maluguez. And yeah, that's foul on Adebayo for sure. He's fallen down the whole way. And there will be some frustration creeping in. Here. Yeah, for sure. And it, it feels like the intensity just in the past couple minutes has really ramped up again. And here we go again with the Hawks looking for Enrique. Nice little layoff there, but it's well covered. Yeah, by Islas. Did a good job. That's one of his skills. Is he's a very good defender, and then he's showing his speed and, and know-how there. Yeah, Isla just got his body on the way, covered the space. And what you got to do off the ball in a give-and-go situation. Sergi, and again, here's the space. 
You got Johnson in his team area yelling at the, the third official no there. No Wonder what Jordan that's Webb about. cutting in, yeah? No shot, no shot. Serge, he's got options. Again, left foot save there by Haas. That was a critical save. It was. He knew the, the player was there. He had to do that. Great read by Reyna. Sergi. Kelly, Kelly into Rusko. Rusko under pressure. He now finds a gap in between them. Sergi opts to go forward. No it looks like Lewis no just under pressure there from Augusto. Picked up here by Kelly. Drives the ball in go, go, go. to Noah Vells. Picked up here by the Hawks. Hawks breaking forward. 2v2. And here's an option here for Ronaldo. Ronaldo going through. Looked like he was slightly pulled down under pressure. That was an easy save for Jesus Ortiz. Yeah, it really was. And you can see the Hawks, like, it, they're not going to go forward with everything they've got because they, they know what the score is. And as long as it stays like this, they're happy. Angelo just pushed wide there by Ruiz. It was good defending by Ruiz, keeping Angelo wide towards the boards. Coming up to the end of the third period. It's still a goal in it. This is probably being one of the best defensive games I've seen the Hawks play. Nice. Yeah, I, I mean, I've been very impressed with the organization. Even from, like, last time you and I did one, I, I feel like there's been a big improvement in their defensive ability. Angelo. He's been monitored by two players just out of our sight yet. Here we go with Enrique in a 2v1. He had Murillo, Murillo to his left-hand side, but it was blocked off. And here come Malike. Maleki on the ball, under pressure. Angelo winning the ball. Webb takes it off him. Elbow up. I don't... Free kick. Free kick was given to the Raptors. Probably best, Jordan Webb just needs to keep his mouth quiet. <laughs> shut, as we would say, because this is when you need it with 10 seconds to go in the other period. You. Yeah, Johnson on the ball, drives the ball forward, looking for Lewis, Ooh. flick on, goes out. Four seconds left. This is where you just keep the ball and see it out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and Reyna's the guy to do that for you. And Reyna just dictating the pace to his teammates. Four seconds remaining. Throws the ball forward. Up goes Johnson. And that's the end of the third period. We have one period to go, 15 minutes. 4-3 to the Demon Hawks. And what a game so far. It really has been. I think pretty evenly matched. I'd give an edge in defensive, like, team organization to the Demon Hawks uh, and the real difference has been individual moments and I think the couple guys step up and hit some challenging shots and put them away and the Raptors conversely have missed some pretty easy opportunities some tap-ins that you gotta slot home and do better with so when you when you're looking at the setup right now uh, and the possession piece has been back and forth right we mentioned, well, you mentioned earlier that the Raptors aren't moving the ball quick enough, especially when they have the advantage. But on the other hand, the Hawks, unbelievable counter-attacking team. Yeah, and what I've been impressed with in the third period, they're countering and creating opportunities with only two guys because the other guys aren't killing themselves to get up. And so they're, they're conserving energy, and they're still putting the Raptors under pressure. And, it, yeah, it, this fourth period is going to be fascinating. And, and it's about making the right decisions at the right times and stop being too fancy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It, it, I, I think, at least in that third period, there are probably a couple tactical changes. Um, Looks like continuity is still going on from the Demon Hawks, but Raptors kind of changing up who their playmakers are in the back, going away from Maliki and Johnson together to Kelly and Maliki. Kelly and Orozco was out back there for a little bit at one point, and I, I think you need the exceptional passers back there if you're going to get this goal back. 
And they've just been off technically, haven't they? Just in, in those final zones in the, in the penalty box and that. They've really struggled. Yeah, yeah. And, and you wonder, though, like the, that power play in the second period where they had the ball for so long and couldn't generate chances, if that's, if that's done something to them psychologically. You've worked with uh, Bobby, who is the owner of the Raptors previously. Um, you know a lot more of what's going on in the community and he's trying to do wonderful things here by acquiring, obviously, the academy they have. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that, it, you know, anytime you've got a community the size of Cedar Rapids, the more people who are expressing love for the game, the better. And Bobby's got a, a deep passion for the for the game, but also for this city. And so, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's another, yet another opportunity for our youth to partake in the beautiful game. And that's what's needed, especially in areas like this, you know. Geographically, it's small. Yeah. It can't be so divided. The ideal thing is for all the clubs to come together, which we know is not going to happen. But here yeah. we go for the start. Yeah, it seldom does happen, Justin. Start of the fourth period. Ball played forward there by Johnson into Dancer. Pantuzo has been really impressive. This match has picked up, as has Enrico with a little cheeky flick over the head there of Johnson. Like I mentioned, both teams, it's an all-win situation to stay in the running for the playoffs. Whoever wins this, talking to Bobby earlier, he said that whoever wins this is going to go to the playoffs. But... You've got to believe in your team. You can't beat the Lancers. Right, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so, yeah, it, it certainly feels like that to the players and coaching staff that this is the game. Oh, right, under pressure there. Just nearly lost the ball. Did well, though. On nah. Vero, picks it up. Looking for Enrique. Tackle coming in there from Sergi. And the ball's down on the boards. Sergi's a strong defender back there for the Raptors. You're very familiar with a lot of the players out here in the Cedar Rapids area, Hikal. Yeah, yeah. I got to coach with the Raptors as an assistant coach for their, their summer team, the men's semi-pro team. Pantuzo on the ball. Enrique just lurking in the penalty box. Olivero, our near side here, on the ball. Out wide. Pantuza picked up here again by the Raptors. Johnson, ball just goes out. One thing the Hawks are trying to do, and Pantuza showed that, they're trying to bait the Raptors into pressing, swing it right wide, and then hit it down the line where there's space in behind. Very different tacti tactical game to the 11 v 11 game, that's for sure. It's a lot faster, same, same principles required. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it has a ton in, in, in uh, similarities with hockey. As the Hawks looking to play forward, it's intercepted there by Ruiz on the far Ooh, side. Yeah, definite foul there. The foul is being called by Ramos. Jesus Ramos on the foul. Let's go, Hawk! What a ball played in. Great technique. Ortiz comes out. He can't pick that up. Looks forward. He clips it over. But this is going to be covered by the Hawks. Just a little side-footed volley over the top there. Looking for Augusta. Ball played forward. Oh. He has a chance. Is that a foul? Both players going in. Referee now calls the foul. And there's Rayner again blocking a shot. Yeah, that, that was a great opportunity for the Raptors. Well defended. Ref's actually calling a foul, I think, on the, the Raptors player, um, Losoya, who is in the box trying to get a shot off. Yeah, Marula is the player down for the Demon Hawks. I mean, this could be make or break, and hopefully both teams keep their discipline in this, in this last period of the second half it's, it's really important there's one goal in the game yeah yeah it, discipline's going to be key whichever team can keep five guys out there and keep being competitive and physical without getting a blue card without giving up fouls is going to enjoy this period more 
So if a player that's uh, there, Sergio, down on the bottom side, talking to the official. It's just one thing up here in this booth. We can't see what's yeah. going, going on on the near side. You we, need, we need to be in the VIP area on the far side. Yeah, right? we do. Absolutely. Classic, aren't they? That would be awesome. Give like us a much better angle. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, true. Reina looking forward. Up goes Johnson in with the challenge. The Hawks look at the break. Here's a charge there. Side footed. Left foot. Picked up on the rebound. Dancer. Whoa. On the right board. on by. Oh, he had an option there. With Rukazike to his left hand side. A little bit selfish because he was running into space. Yeah. Yeah. And with the form Reina's in, it's going to take one hell of a shot. But We wouldn't be saying that if he scored, though. We would not. And. Dancer can score from there. Augusta, Arusco, and good shielding there on the far side there by Arnado. No shot! There was definitely Behind a chance. You. There's been enough chances here for the Raptors. Serge, Sergi playing the ball in. That's a foul on Kelly. This is where you've got to be careful. There's no need to foul. He's not even facing your goal. Yeah. Discipline. And, and that's where a player like him, with the amount of movement he does, he's going to catch people out and force those dumb fouls. That was Franco with a foul. Maleki. Kelly. Kelly breaks in. Franco just putting a foot in. Maleki onto the right foot. Way wide. The Des Moines Hawks are defending that zone. But how long can they defend for when we're just under 12 minutes left? Ball into Roscoe. Oh, that's Marcel nice. Leo, Angelo pick, picked up there by Ortiz. And there's a challenge. Both players going into it. Thor's blue card. That, that. Ortiz going down injured. They might have to make that change again. Rainer Haas is going over to Kurt Lewis on the bench. This is where they need to keep their cool. They have to keep their cool. They don't need to get in trouble here. But yeah, but look at, like, coach and player going at it. It's pretty silly. Haas has had such a good game. He needs to be an example for the kids in the crowd. Yeah, he's been fantastic. He's shown discipline. Ortiz is still down. A blue card has been shown. Yeah, and the owner of the Demon Hawks asking for calm, which is smart, right? Like, dudes get fired up, and it's just a game. Ortiz got kicked. I, I think he's milking it a little bit, but that's his right to do, and it, it made no sense for the Demon Hawk forward to even try to stick his leg out for the ball. The keeper had it the whole way, so... But the refs have it. He's, he's in the box. Everyone can just relax. And we spoke about discipline, didn't we? And yeah. And now the Hawks are going to be playing with the player down, which they don't, they don't need. They can't afford that at this point. Yeah, absolutely. And now we've seen them do a great job in those moments, but why put yourself in that situation? Especially you go from a potential counter to now you're playing a man down it it, it was senseless great job by uh as we keeper, see the though. replay again there it i mean it was 50 50 but it's hard to see but you need to have eyes on it like really close and yeah pitch side would be ideal <laughs> Yeah, that, that would be fun. That would, but then the game would be even faster, right? <laughs> I don't think our mouths could keep up with the action if we were pitch side. They do have Luis Perez on the bench. He came on during the power play. Yeah, on that, that penalty. Yeah. yeah so, so where, yeah, on the penalty. So when Ortiz went off, that's when Enrique got the first goal. But ho hopefully he's okay. Yeah, it looks like they're checking for shoulder. He got the wind knocked out of him. I'm not sure, but 
You know, there's always Rainer Haas who's been carrying players off. Nasia Mente. He's going to go over and be a sport, good sporter. Boy, I, I hope he doesn't try to lift Ortiz up. He's a bigger dude. I think that's awesome. That's great Look sportsmanship. At this. Well done there to both ah, players. He is a leader. That's the way to do it, Rainer Haas. Ortiz is up. Gingerly, though, I think he'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's not feeling good. If you're the coaching staff, you got to monitor that. And if you think, you know, Luis Perez is healthy and able to be at 100%, it might be worth it. Do you think the Hawks can defend here for their lives like they did earlier? Or do you think that the Raptors are going to steal one? Oh, man. I wish I knew that answer. I think the Raptors have to commit to shooting. And this, this is where I think it makes sense to have Pat Kelly in the back because he's a shooter. So let him shoot. Let Jonah Dancer dribble, guys, and, and let's see what can happen. But watch how tight their diamond will stay. They'll, they're going to be tough to break down the Demon Hawks. It's just naturally communicated, even with the non-verbal non communication. The, the Hawks just seem to know how to defend in those situations. Angelo on the ball. The zone is really, really compact and, and so effective at this point. Far side, Jonah Dancer. Rusko into Dancer. Dancer on the ball. They need to move the ball quickly. Kelly back to Dancer. Ball comes in. Pantuzo oh, on the ball. He's just going to carry this ball away. Under pressure here from Rusko. He's doing well. And it's picked up here and well taken there by Kelly, just getting his body across the ball. Yeah, that's, that's outstanding defending. They get so tight. But I think what the Raptors, if they want to break them down, they need to have runners through the, through the box there. Augusta didn't quite get a hold of it. Johnson wins the ball back. Rusko coming out to our near left-hand side. He's probably a player to get on the ball. Right footed strike. Good. Off the boards. Cleared away by Murillo. Picked up by Kelly. The zone of Demon Hawks is staying as compact as possible. There's no passing lanes. They can't get that ball into Angelo's feet. They need to move the ball quicker. Oh, nearly just lost that one there to Johnson as the ball's out to Rusko. Little fake. Good save there Great by Reyna going into the top corner. Johnson. Out to Kelly. Takes a touch. Looking Good for Dancer. Didn't quite get a hold of it. No pressure. Angelo! That's a great team goal there from the Raptors. They took their time, and they finally did what you said. Move the ball faster, gain some penetration, and then Angelo, what a finish. Very well taken. And what a finish that was. I, th I think it was the disguised pass that was played out wide to uh, Dancer. Dancer playing it in first time without taking a touch. Yes, yeah. And Rayner is beaten, who's had an outstanding game, which brings the game now to 4-4 tied, coming up to 10 minutes left of the game. Enrique will kick off. Game tied. Now the fireworks are going to be begin. Onardo back to Rayner. The pressure's coming in. Ball left because it went directly over the line. Johnson on the ball. 4-4. Thoughts so far? Yeah, I think this has been, has been a lovely game to watch. And if it's your first time watching, this is the type of game you'd want to see. Ball out to Sergi from Johnson. Sergi looking. And it's got rebound. It's in. It's in. Can you believe it? Jordan oh, Wow. Wow. The goals have come quick and thin. Reyna is looking at out of our screen with the referee as we... Yeah, he's doing his own VAR check there. He thinks he saved it. That's a tough one. I mean, again, though, both teams take the chances because with the boards, with fatigue, you're going to get some funky goals like that one. Two goals within 45 seconds. If that, yeah. 30 seconds probably. And a timeout's been called there by the bench of... The Raptors, 
No, it hasn't. I don't think it would be a good time to call a timeout. No. At this point, if anybody's going to call one, it would be the Hawks. Yeah. Raptors are looking like they're saying they don't want to go all out press here. Calling some of their guys back. Oh, I did not see that foul. I, the foul was out of my picture. Kyle, did you get a look at that? I did not, but the Demon Hawks are protesting. They want a blue card here. Well, Jordan Webb has now put the Raptors 5 4 up. Just with a little toe poke, it came off his body, crossing the line as Reyna was reaching for it. Pantuza on the ball here, looking to claw their way back into the game. Strikes the ball off the foot there of Oruska. Rivaldo. Enrique, great shielding there. He's brought down. That is a foul. Enrique did really well there, shielding the ball. Yeah, he did. And I, I think if he doesn't go down, he's got a good chance to, to get a good shot on frame there. So here the Hawks have a chance to now come back into the game and tie it. But they have to score first. A three-player wall. Pantuza's up there. Pantuza, three-man wall, two covering, Ortiz and goals. Extra player coming on on the far side, Maliguez. Pantuza, probably strike this. Lays it, and what a Ooh. great layoff there. Rebound, Arnaldo. We had players in there, but it was a great piece of work. Well, great set piece. It really was. Well worked. They get two opportunities. Oh, Pat Kelly gets hacked down. There's a blue card for the Demon Hawks. That's, that's killed them tonight. And Pat Kelly there's brought down. Just a bit of frustration. Showed a bit of skill with the scissors. Now the crowd here are getting fired up. Bobby's trying to get his players off so they don't get involved. But, you know, was he meant to foul him? Olivero now off. Yeah. It, it, yeah. You'd like to see it stay fives right now and just let the game play out. We got a timeout, it looks like. It, it, it's like the... The cards just come out on a foul. Yeah. I, yeah, I just, it's a lot. Uh, he's in the box, the penalty box. They're still protesting his card. So Olivero's out, so there'll be a power play, and the Hawks are down a player. Man. So they'll be playing four versus five. As now the Raptors, with the momentum swing, the two quick goals, and the crowd now behind the Raptors. Kyle. Yeah, you don't, Demon Hawks have not done much this period except defend. And so they, their set piece show they can get something, but they've got to they gotta keep all five guys on the, on the field. They have to keep the five on the field. Still lots of time with just under nine and a half minutes left of the fourth period till the end of the game. A win is up at grabs to keep playoffs alive. And yeah. it's important to keep your discipline. Yeah, and, and certainly that's been, that's been the issue for the Demon Hawks. And you look, it, I believe it's the same four they've been using for these power plays. And like Pantuzo, he's played a lot of minutes. And as good as he is, fatigue's going to come into play. And you're just that much less effective. Pantuzo, you, you got Pantuzo, Augusta on there. Marula. So they've got all the defenders on there that they need. Pantuza is really the playmaker in case they need to break. But it's going to be players like Pantuza and, and Enrique that are going to have to step up to this. Augusto, Angelo picking the ball up out wide here. Is now it's under control here by the Raptors with Johnson as the pivot. Dancer, Angelo, ball played in. A little bit too much there for Kelly. Johnson comes in, now he goes forward. Rotation was in, Dancer on the ball. There's the ball down the middle. A little bit too much for Angelo. Is this a chance to break? What they really a move. are out wide here. And this is the Hawks now on the attack on the far side. Strike comes in. Marulo will pick the ball up on our near side. Pantuza's there. Orozco looks like he's caused an infringement, which will bring the ball 
to the Hawks. So it's a Hawks free kick. Yeah, I mean, just getting it in that in their attacking third there is huge for the Hawks because it's a power play and they're playing a man down. So that's a great result for them so far. Ball played across, has a chance. Strike comes in off the balls. on Tees Pantuza! Oh! Wow, what a, yeah. They're playing a man down and they score. Now the problem is they're still playing a man down. So still advantage Raptors, but what a well-taken free kick. If you're the Raptors players, coaching staff, you're mad as heck right now because that was god-awful defending, uh, and you have to do better. You've got the man advantage. You can't let a weak side runner get a free shot like that. And it's what the Hawks needed to do was subdue the crowd because now it's gone quiet. Earlier on, after the two back-to-back -back goals by the Raptors, this crowd was erupted behind their team. Yeah, yeah, absolutely right. They're, that's a huge goal. And you got to figure it gives them belief, like, oh, man, if we get our fifth guy back and play even numbers, we've got this. Strike there by Kelly has scored! Kelly with an unbelievable right-footed strike into the bottom corner. Rayner Haas could do nothing about it. Yeah, what, what a read by Kelly, and... For the night he's had, the intensity, some misplaced passes, that's why he's out there because the man can finish, and he came up clutch there. Wow. That was big time. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was 4-3 for so long, and we've seen three goals in a, in a hurry here. So now the score is back to 6-5, but the Raptors leading by a goal with... Eight minutes and 20 seconds left, all to play for here this afternoon. And the Demon Hawks need to get themselves back in this game as quickly as possible. They got themselves back in and just gave it away again with just a slight mistake. A line change coming in. At least the Raptors are doing it right this time when they have possession. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Johnson. Sergi, Sergi's in the game. Sergi on the ball. With that unbelievable strike earlier on. That rebounded for Webb to score. Webb, one of the goal scorers on it. Showing a bit of skill, good defending there. Enrique on the ball now, looking to break it. He doesn't have any passing lanes because he's been covered. He's got a charge, Enrique with the strike. Ortiz just managed to keep a hold of that ball. Well defended there by Onado. Picked up here by Adebayo. Didn't quite get a hold of it. Under pressure from Enrique. Kelly, after that strike. Ball played in. Dancer of all players you think would have a hold of it. Enrique is lurking up front. Now the Raptors are looking to break out as quickly as possible. Pressure by Adebayo. And there's a chance here. Definitely he has an opportunity here for... The Hawks laid off Pantuza. Pantuza just keeps possession. Trying to just find options here. Laid back into Ruiz. Well read there by Johnson. Ruiz on the ball. Laid it off. Goes to ground. I think it went to ground too easily. And here go the Hawks. Enrique in the well block. A critical block there by Kelly. Pantuza into again and it's away by Maleki Webb looking out wide to Adebayo Adebayo is looking very tired <laughs> yes he is he's he's been sprinting like a maniac since he he's came now, on he's now calling to go a four plate forward Enrique you've got to be fit for this sport that's for sure and there's a foul a foul now with 621 left in the game scores 6-5 to the Raptors those last two minutes were played at an absolutely frenetic pace and both teams finding lots of combos and space. Could see a couple more goals yet. Well, we've seen more goals in the fourth period. Ball played into Enrique, laid off again for Pentuza. Enrique does well. I didn't really see much in that, to be honest with you. Yeah, and I mean, this is what's tough with the two-man, right? Like, one seems like he's letting more go and the other's calling it tighter. But yeah, I didn't see much. 
Pressure by D D Diaz on Angelo, forcing the ball back. There's rotations with the pink jerseys of the Raptors there, but some players are making the same movements. Yeah, you just saw that with Sergey and... Um, the man you want on the ball, Pantuza, to the other one, Enrique. And that's good defending there by Johnson. That's, that's a foul. A foul when you look at it. <laughs> ball here. Here's Malugas. Malugas takes a touch. Didn't quite connect. He was leaning away from the ball when he struck that. And there's the pressure from Augusta. Ball played across. No one there. All efforts have got to come into this. If the Demon Hawks are going to get themselves back in. Pantuza gets a toe in. Pressure here from Augusta. And the slow down here. R Roscoe, what a ball played in there for Lewis. Lewis back to Angelo. And his left foot shoots. Safe there by Reyna. Reyna just managed to keep it out. A little dink. Just showing a little bit of inexperience there. He could have dinked it over the goalkeeper there. But Th that and fatigue, I think. That's too much time just allowing. Yeah. And yeah. here's us saying that up here. Well, and you look like Pantuza. I don't know the last time he was off the field. Suzuki in. Oh, he has a chance, and this could be an end to go. Alan Lasoya. The Raptors have taken a two-goal lead with Alan Lasoya scoring their seventh goal to go 7-5 up. Oh, that's got to feel good for Allen and the Raptors. That's huge. Reyna almost got there, but yeah, that, it's going to be tough for the, the Demon Hawks. It was Adebayer's work effort on the far side. Yeah. You've got to grind through this. Yep. You know, and I, I've seen changes, two goal games, 7-5 to the Raptors. You would think momentum now with them is flying right now. Yeah, you would think so. Like, you went from 4-3 to 7-5, so you're looking like a 4-1 swing in the past 15 minutes. And, yeah, they, they've got to be feeling good, and they've got the crowd worked up. And, look, tactics, too. I, I don't remember Adebayo playing that much in the third period but he's been really impactful here in the fourth and maybe he got a little bit longer of a rest there and they knew they were going to work him down the stretch but looking at it as well wouldn't you think that if you've been under so much pressure with power plays playing with a man down you're going to get fatigued as the game goes on and it's going to show now yeah yeah for sure and then you look like they weren't rotating their players on those power plays so they're, they're toast and you know, Nascimento going out certainly didn't help with their, their ability to rotate their defenders. It's going to take the, a little bit of quality from the Demon Hawks and their experience, Pantuza and Enrique, to step up and yeah. take control of this game. I know they're missing Dos Santos and a couple of key players from Lex Lexera and, you know, a couple of key players from before. But yeah. at the end of the day... Yeah, Dos Santos would help a lot. Um, but maybe it just falls on Reyna. Maybe he's got to embrace playing a deep-lying mid and say we're down two, we have to score. And it's still, still the power play here. Now the Hawks have got to boost themselves with a bit of confidence, pick the head-ups and keep moving on. Reyna Haas is playing a higher line as that strike goes way over the over the bar from Cesar Ruiz. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna strike it, they gotta keep it low. It, aim for the boards, not the plexiglass. Get a get a chaotic rebound. Angelo's back on, straight into the game. It's not a foul, but here's Dancer on the ball. Shoot! Whoo! Goes wide. Just skipped away from that challenge. Well done, Jonah not Dancer. The player, you won on the ball, that's for sure. Ball played out here. Now near side here. Franco on the ball. Lays it across, far side. Ruiz into Enrique. Enrique into Augusto, Augusto now. Arnado. Reyna, out wide. There comes a chance, it's well covered there by... A look at Reyna. Roscoe, Reyna's out. Cover coming in here from... Oh! And that's great cover. Rainer in there, off the post to post, 
Rainer, this is scintillating, electrifying. This place has blown up, and that's why it's called the Alliance Energy Powerhouse Arena. Here we go. Enrique with a strike, and it's off Ortiz. Can you ask for more entertainment? You cannot, because, yeah, that, uh, five different chances in the matter of 30 seconds, and Reyna. Credit, credit to Franca, who covered the line there. Yeah, thank goodness he did. Ball coming off post to post. Reyna gets the ball, plugs it out of the air. The crowd are going nuts at the officials. Enrique. As now the, the Hawks are looking to spread it out. Johnson in there. Johnson's being quality at the back. Yeah, he, he really has been. He's kept Enrique, everyone composed. Enrique covered there by, dance, uh, by Webb. We're going to have some quick changes here. Just under three minutes left. Kyle, the, the Hawks have got to finish with all their attacking players on. I would leave Rainer in, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I, I think, yeah, whether you lose by two or three, I don't think it matters too much. They've got to take some risks. Adebayo brings the ball down. Shielding it with quality. Keeping it. Yeah, and yeah. two's are putting pressure on. Keep your discipline. No foul. And here's Webb again on the turn. What a save there by Reyna. <laughs> Looks like the boards are being clattered. Yeah, Adebayo is, he is hungry. Nice little flick of good skill here. Now we have Enrique breaking forward. Cuts in onto his right foot. Has an option to his right. Pentuza. What a well save. Well saved there by Ortiz. Picked up by Angelo at the back. Well covered. Enrique off the line. Can you believe it? It's a goal. Pantuza. Let's see. I thought hey, it was Pantuza. Wow. What a what a finish though by the Demon Hawks. It's been coming, and Ortiz did a great couple saves, but Demon Hawks are still in this. One goal game, yeah, coming up to two minutes left. Murillo with the other goal just coming in. It's 7-6, and now there's a timeout. It looks like the Raptors called it. Yeah, I would too. I'd say that getting a little too chaotic, guys, like we just had a two-goal lead. Just calm the game down. Play smarter. Don't give in to chaos. Try to create order. Um Demon Hawks, well done, creating the chaos and then capitalizing on it. You create the chaos, you capitalize, you get yourself back into the game. Two minutes and 14 seconds left, 7-6, one goal game. There's fireworks here. There really are. There really are. This is, wow. But the ball played from Enrique out wide to Pentuza. It was so good. What a save, though. Yeah, the save. Ortiz, Ortiz came up big a couple times in a row there. And it was absolutely massive. But Marulo playing the ball into the top corner. I don't know why he was complaining to the official. Yeah, and he's still, he's still kind of talking. Two minutes and 14 seconds left here of the fourth period of the second half. But the Demon Hawks down by a goal with the Raptors leading by seven goals to six. And you look at this lineup from the Raptors. They're back to Maliki and Johnson in the back. They put Kelly, Dancer, and Orozco up top. And so you got a bunch of energy, but also quality and ability to finish if you do get a chance. You're right with that energy with Maliki. I think Maliki's been quality today. Yeah, he turns yeah. from pressure so well. Dance has been quality as well. And they've got some young ones off the bench like in Webb. But uh, you can see the Hawks are missing some of their key players today. And there's a chance just given away. Dancer with, the, with that opportunity. Is he going to live that down later if the Hawks claw their way back in? And here we go with Enrique. Two minutes left. Malaguz on the ball. Malaguz, little step over. It was well defended there by Dancer. They took off Reyna? Reyna's off and here's... The extra player. So the outfield player's in. He's the, he'll be the goalkeeper. A minute and 35 seconds left of the game. As the Hawks now 
maintaining possession. Ball played out wide. Options into feet. On, nice bit of a soul roll. There's no real passing lane into Enrique Olivero. Out wide. This is the time to take the chances with a minute 17 left. Pantuzo on the ball. He would be the one that you want on the ball. Yeah, I, I Olivero think Olivero on the near side. We see Augusto sneaking in behind the goalkeeper Ortiz, but he's being covered by Dancer. He has a chance in. Pantuzo oh, onto his left foot. Ball off the, off the line. Whoa. Off the line. Can you believe it? Pantuzo on the ball. It looked like that was Johnson off the line. Unbelievable piece of soccer right there. Yeah, that, that should have been tied game. Great defending from the Raptors there. 45 seconds left to go. Pantuza into feet. Enrique lays it off. Pantuza getting it onto his left foot. I'm not sure you can do that. Olivero. He did wide. it. <laughs> 35 seconds left. And here. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. Olivero into Pantuza. Pantuza shown inside. Is this the moment? Is this the chance given away? Olivero, he's got Pantuza on the ball. Pantuza didn't quite get it. Knocked, just deflected there off Jonah. And it's, in, oh, it's on the wow. line now, and it's off the line again. On the far side, coming to seven, five seconds left of the game. Four. And that is game. What a game we've had today. Yeah, that, that was wild. What an awesome ending. Wow. Well, uh, uh, hang on one sec. It, there's just some clarifications going on the sideline. They gave a blue card. There were 10 seconds left, so I think the refs are consulting about that. Players are high-fiving each other, which seems kind of silly. Yeah, it's just very interesting because the clock ran down. They, I think they're coming back out. I think they want 10 seconds back up. Asking for 10 seconds back. Lots going on out there at this point, that's for sure. Yeah, you got to feel that probably is virtually over. Raptors have the ball. Eight seconds. And and, and Demon Hawks had a blue card, so. So there's eight, eight seconds left of the game. Possession with Ortiz, the Raptors. They've just got to see this out. And here we go with the Raptors launching the ball forward. And there's a foul on Adebayo. A foot in the back of the head there. Oh, by we don't need this, this right now. This is not the time yeah. to do it. They've got to keep their discipline. With five seconds left, and it's a yellow card for retaliation. Yeah. Adebayo's not happy. He just needs to contain himself. They need to get him off because it's going to cause problems here. Yeah, it, I mean, good Lord. It's not, not really the ending we won after an electrifying match. Right, yeah, yeah. The other ending was better. 7-6 with five seconds to go to the advantage of the Raptors. And the Raptors are looking at their three points right now. Which would still keep them in third because of goal difference. We haven't done the calculations with blue cards and, and all of that where you get cards taken away. But ball played forward and that is game. The Iowa Raptors have defeated the, Demean, the Des Moines Demon Hawks here in Cedar Rapids by seven goals to six. But Kyle, what a game it's been. What, what an absolutely fantastic game. The, yeah, you, you couldn't write it better than that. It, it's kind of a shame it has to end. I, I would have been fine with overtime for this one. It's great, though, to see that even though it's so competitive, the guys are all good. And, and I think Reyna, even with the loss, he's got to be a man of the match. His performance and then his leadership on the field was exceptional. I, I wouldn't disagree with you on that one. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. But exciting stuff, yeah. Full three points, because if they go to overtime, it's two points for the winner. 
and one for the losers. So it's a full three points there for the Iowa Raptors. Iowa Raptors are playing the Lancers next weekend. And so are the Demon Hawks. Demon Hawks in the last game, the Raptors have three games in hand. They play the Lancers here at home and then they travel on the road to play the Lancers. So mm -hmm. all at stake, the Hawks have to win next weekend, which they can. They did it last time. Yeah. And then they've just got to base it off what happens in the next game. Yeah. So I think it can happen, but what a fantastic game, Kyle. Yeah, that, that really was. And both teams have immense levels of quality. And yeah, if you're a fan, you couldn't ask for anything better. Yeah, and uh, we'd like to thank you for watching um, on Vita Media, Media via YouTube. We appreciate your attendance. We look forward to you at the next game. Thank you. Drive home safe and peace out.
Some very nice things.
Thank you.
They call her the shark.
just over two minutes remaining. Fans, if you want, if you are junior high age or younger and want to go kick your hand on the field during halftime, please meet at section 209. I'll come meet you as soon as my duties here are completed. For everybody else, there's our jersey auction out on the contour store on on. Very strong, very nice. Look good.
just over seven minutes to play. Give the third grade. Fans remember when he was stopping the bids on the New Jersey auction at 7.30 in the fourth quarter. 7.30 